Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating one of the modernized versions of the Pinecrest Apartments in Evergreen Harbor, which came with the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. And this is a little bit of a strange one because it started with one point of inspiration and then it evolved over time. Basically, I wanted to build something or decorate something inspired by the Pantone color of the year. As a graphic designer in like, that's what I was trained to do. It's not currently really what I'm pursuing. I'm doing this. Uh, I was always really interested in the Pantone colors of the year. And this year it's like this purpley color called Very Perry. And we only have a couple of things that are really that color in the game since we don't have a color wheel, we only have swatches. So I basically just wanted to decorate an apartment that was inspired by a purple color. And so that is what this started out being. But in the end, I decided this was for some sisters, some twin sisters that ended up living together over time and uh, they share this apartment. So it's a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment and uh, I really like how it comes out. So I hope you will like it as well. Honestly, a lot of builds I do start with like an initial concept and then they go in every which direction. And a lot of times they don't end up actually being what I originally planned for. So this is very much similar to how a lot of my builds go. Uh, but anyway, I'm just picking out some artwork here and trying to figure out which ones I think would look nice in this space because I wanted purple to be a very main color in the space, but I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. And uh, you know, try, try to mix that in nicely. I really liked how the purple went with this sort of beige color I have in the kitchen and the floorboards as well. And also in this particular apartment, I wanted this uh, like sliding door that goes out onto a balcony to not look like that. I wanted it to look like it was windows without having to use tools. So that way this would still download properly off the gallery if you don't have tools. So that's what I did there. I'm sure I'll be using some tool in future apartments though, cause I've been having a lot of fun with it. I think it's been a blast to have a little bit more versatility when it comes to apartments. I just think it's really nice to be able to change some of the windows and stuff. Uh, I really enjoy building apartments, working on interior design for them. It's one of my favorite things to do, but we are still limited to the amount of apartments we have. We just have the ones in San Mishuno and now these ones in Evergreen Harbor. Uh, but speaking of which, I would love to know what sort of builds or apartment renovations you would like to see. We are now in 2022. I think this is my first actual speed build going up this year. And uh, I'd just like to know what you'd like to see some more of. I definitely have noted that I wanna do some more of the state series. There's been uh, some suggestions for some community lots. If you'd like to see any community lots, which ones would you like to see? Anything that you would uh, be interested in, let me know. I'm excited to do some more building. I've also been streaming again over on Twitch. I have a brand new schedule if you'd like to join us over there and be part of the building process. I now stream on Monday and Tuesday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern time and on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so a new schedule. I'm excited about it. It's going well so far. <laughs> and uh, I'd love to have you over there on twitch.tv slash Miss Griffey if you'd like to uh, hang out and build some things in The Sims together. But anyway, I'm just cluttering up the kitchen here. These countertops are from Cool Kitchen Stuff. I do really like this counter set. I feel like I don't use it very often. I've been trying to recently because I feel like I just have favorites that I use constantly. And that's primarily the ones that came with the Dream Home Decorator Pack and Parenthood. I'm trying to think if there's others I use a lot. Probably after that would be either Island Living or Jungle Adventure, but I definitely have favorite counter sets. <laughs> so it's nice to go back and use a couple of different ones here and there. Maybe I'll do another base game home sometime soon and try to uh, incorporate a, a nice base game kitchen. I really like base game homes. Hmm, maybe that's what we'll do on stream next week. Like a really big base game home. Unless I want to do that in my own time. I don't know. I have too many ideas all the time. So, ooh, or community lots that we could do with base game. I'm not even talking about the build right now. I'm just like rambling about ideas. Uh, but let me know if you have any ideas of what you would like to see. But anyway, over here, I'm just making an area to put a television on and get some clutter over here. The wood tones are all kind of different in here, but I think that's pretty realistic to real life. Not everything you're going to have is going to match. Uh, they're kind of similar in some ways. Like I have a couple of things that are this wood tone, a couple of things that are a light wood tone, some that are an orangey one, and they're just all mixed together in this space. But I think it looks really pretty with all of the purple that I have in here and Purple's just not a color I use a lot in interiors for whatever reason, so it was really fun to be inspired by the Pantone color of the year. 
There's also like some trendy colors of the year. I'll probably do something revolving around like sage green. I know that's been pretty trendy for a while, but I keep seeing like more videos of like interior design channels being like, the color this year is this green. And me being like, yeah, hasn't it been that color for a while? I mean, I still really like it. I really wish we had more of it in The Sims. I feel like the only counters we have that are like the right green are probably the vampires ones. I really wish the parenthood ones had a green base, but not that brown top. If they were white or like butcher block, that'd be so good. I would love that so much. I, I, I know there's CC that does that, but I would like that in the game. I would like so many more swatches on counters. That'd be amazing. And being able to change the top and the base of the counter separately. Yes, please. Anyway, this is the bathroom. Using the same counters from the kitchen. Got a nice purple rug in here. A shower tub combo. I really wish there was one with a curtain that had like the right swatch for in here. I talked in my video that I posted for like my wants for 2022 for the game that I really want some more shower tub combos with curtains so we can have more designs and color options because I just, I, we need it. <laughs> we don't have that many. We have like what, three that have curtains, one that's like your standard one from Parenthood. And then we have two older fashioned ones that one is from base game and the other one's from vampires. And then I think there's a single tile one that came with university as well. But we need more shower tub combos with curtains. I mean, I guess I'll take some more showers with curtains too, but like mostly the combo ones because that is more useful because then you can bathe your toddlers or your dogs or take a bath. You know, that's something I would desperately like to see this year. I know I talked in length about everything I would like to see this year. I'll link that video down below if you're curious. I talked for like, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes about everything I would like to see added to the game. It was a lot of fun to record that, but I'm curious like when we're actually going to see our first new bit of content. Like, is it going to be this month? Is it going to be next month? Is it going to be a stuff pack? Is it going to be a kit? Is it going to be a game pack? I don't think we'd get an expansion this early, but I honestly don't know. Like, I, I just... I am ready for whatever the new content is. We've only had kits for a while now, and I just, I can't wait to see what we're going to get. I mean, free update would be great as well. Maybe start the year off strong with like an amazing free update. I'd be so done for that. Anyway, <laughs> I just keep rambling. It feels weird having the first speed build of the year. I feel like I have too many things I want to say, too much stuff I want to communicate. So we're getting a little bit rambly today, but we're working on the second bedroom now. This one's a little bit more neutral. The first one was more purple. And I feel like the whole apartment kind of shows off those two different styles, like that dusty purple, as well as like some really neutral beige and white tones throughout. And so one of the bedrooms is very beige and the other one is very purple. I thought it worked nicely. I was kind of imagining as I was getting to decorating the bedrooms that these were for some tw twin sisters that live together, but this could definitely be for whoever you'd like. It could be for some roommates. It could be for, I don't know, cousins. <laughs> it could be for anyone. Uh, you could definitely redecorate the room so you can have like kids here if you wanted. Uh, it's up to you if you download this build, which you can grab off the Sims 4 gallery. If you look up my origin ID, which is Griffy. G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. And with that, I'm just getting a couple more decorations in this bedroom and then we'll be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this. Happy New Year. I am so excited to be making some more content and yeah, I don't know. I'm just in a really good mood. I hope you are too. I hope you're having a great new year and enjoy these screenshots. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.